they were told to do, they were given the <coughs> dimensions of the parking lot and they were told to fit accordingly as many parking spaces that would be convenient for drivers and fit regulations into the parking lot as they could. Walk, walk me through your process of how you did this. Um, we just had the loading zone and then the handicapped parking spots, 10 feet by 18 feet, then a 10 feet by 18 feet space, and another handicapped parking spot, and then these here, then these. Mm -hmm. So you knew you, you you were able to measure the whole blacktop area and and recreate it on this graph. Yeah. So how how many different proposals did y'all come up with? Three. Did now how, how did that one become the one that was chosen? Why why was that one chosen? Do you think? Well, they are they're all they were all kind of a little bit of each one was used in the mm -hmm. final. Well, if you'll see his, he has parallel parking right there in front of the school, and then on the final copy we have the regular vertical parking because we figured that we with the, the space that we had we could get more parking spots in right there as, as opposed to parallel mm -hmm. parking. Do you guys have a basketball game or a football game? Does, does the parking lot get pretty full? Yeah, yeah. I have to park off the road for the football game. And do you think that they were utilizing the space that, to the best of their ability before without any lines uh, or anything? No. Well, do you think they'll be able to fit everybody in now or at least better? Yeah. Better, yeah. Better. Yeah, they were given the dimensions mm -hmm. of the parking lot, and so they created a lot of y'all used each square representing five, 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 five right? And so, do y'all remember this bottom row? How how many feet that was? One hundred. Five hundred feet, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And I believe from here to here we had one hundred twenty-six feet, and we knew that we had eighteen feet for each parking place. Eighteen, eighteen, eighteen. And that left us, I believe, with 52 feet, which gave the lanes 26 feet each. And I believe with the regulations that you had to have at least 23 feet, so we have an additional 3 feet. Regulation parking places are 9 by 18, but I've seen some of the teachers drive and uh, they have trouble. Uh, so we gave them extra foot clearance there because we knew we had more than enough parking spaces. So that's one of the reasons we set the guidelines up to be in a 10 by 18 parking space. Uh, the, right here you all use the handicapped parking and we, we placed that in our, our final rendering and handicapped parking. One other location that, that we have placed the handicapped parking spot is, is right here as well. And so that way uh, it can unload here as well. It looks like there's 218 plus the handicapped spots that you have in there right now. So 218 so parking right. spots. We'll just try it ourselves. Oh, okay. Alrighty. When do you think that'll be finished? Uh, well, it depends on the weather, to be honest with you. We'll come out and verify all the measurements and, and uh, measure it again just to make sure, um, which I doubt there's no need for, but we'll, we'll do that. And then, depending on the weather, mm -hmm. is when we'll start striping. How much would it cost to have uh, a professional come out and, and lay out a parking lot like this? Ballpark. Uh, just to lay it out would probably cost you a couple thousand dollars. Really? Are you are you happy with the the uh, number of spots they came up with? Oh yeah, I think it's great. It's it's fantastic. I don't know that they probably have 218 people park uh, that well for a football or basketball game, but I think it'll certainly help them a great deal. Uh, principal, you you've been at this school for a while. Uh, how, how is parking here like when during games and stuff? You never know what you're going to get from event to event. One day they'll they'll park one direction, next day they'll park in the other. Uh, Mr. Shedden and the school board has really helped us out in getting the area paved. It was long overdue, and uh, everybody's excited about that. But now we want to get the line so people so it'll look organized when when the place mm -hmm. is full. This is a fifth period math class, it's Algebra 1 class. Okay. And so uh, these are the kind of the best of our best math students in eighth grade. Uh, well, let me just say they just added two class periods to do this with the schedule we've had as far as getting everything covered the first semester. They had a total of uh, two one hour class periods. So to compliment them on getting what they did.